a lot, so um, I'm in London for so my BEDM entry today. Uh, I'm going to answer the questions from the Ask Me Anything blog I did a few days ago, well, I'm sorry, about a week ago. Um, thanks to everybody who sent in questions, and I'll try and get them all answered. So, the first set of uh, questions um, were, first of all, if the Doctor from Doctor Who could take you anywhere in his TARDIS, where would it be and why? I, I would like, probably, to go back in time to be able to see the moon landing happen live because my mum has told me about it quite a few times when she was um, young. She uh, watched it at my grandparents' house on television and I just remember doing brilliant to actually have been there to see it happen. Um, incidentally, the 30th anniversary is in July, so I'm going to a big um, thing to celebrate that in Glasgow. I'll tell you more about that another thing. So yeah, it would be July 1969 to see that happen live. The second question was, if I was in Skins, would I rather live in the kind of first series with um, Tony or in the first series with Effie and everybody? I would probably... See, the thing is, I've only ever seen the first episode of the first series, and I've seen quite a few more of the first series, but even at that, judging by just the first episode of the first series, I don't know, the Tony year just seems a bit more fun. Not that the third one doesn't fun either, but probably go with the Tony era, the first series. Uh, the next question is from Hazel, which is, it's a really stupid old joke, how many Strathclyde University students does it take to change a light bulb? Um, I remember this one from online, so I looked it up. Um, the answer according to the joke is five. One to build a nuclear powered one. One to figure out how to power the rest of Scotland using this nuclear powered light bulb. Two to install it, and this one I like. One to write the program. <laughs> this controls the switch, which would probably be me, because that's why I did it, uni. Now, Stuart's. Which, if I remember correctly, was something along the lines of... Is it true that I am... That I, um, his father and his son, due to some kind of Chuck Norris paradox, I'm not entirely sure, because he just kind of made it up. But whatever it is, I'm sure the answer is no. Okay, uh, now Cara's questions. Um, first, um, I could have any fictional character come to life. Uh, life who would it be? Probably Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter, because she was my favourite character in that, because she was really strange and stuff. I can imagine you have a lot of interesting conversations with her. That would make a lot of sense. But then again, a lot of the conversations I have with my real friends don't make a lot of sense. Um, three people I could invite to dinner party, dead or alive. First would be Stephen Hawking, because you know, it's Stephen Hawking. Also, um, probably, I don't know, maybe Leonardo da Vinci, just to find out what was really going on in that book. And Julie Caesar. Interesting. Uh, my favourite Doctor Who episode. My favourite is, I think it's the same one Cara said, The Girl in the Fireplace. It's always been my favourite since I first saw it. I just like that it's kind of understated and there's not big space battles going on and stuff like a lot of the others. I don't think that's a bad thing. And the Doctor kind of shows more emotion in that than some of the other episodes, which I think is quite interesting to see if I could live anywhere, where and why. Probably here, actually. I've always liked having been here for, like, gatherings and stuff. I find it a really interesting and exciting city. Um, or Paris. I also like Paris. I wouldn't mind living there. Except I can't speak French at all. And, one night. I hate it. I tried it once. And it was one of the most disgusting things I've ever eaten in my life. So, I... I'm definitely a hate my mate person. Um, that's all the questions I've got. Thanks everybody for uh, coming. So, tomorrow we are meeting up um, just around here for the gathering. So I'll do a VDM probably from there. So, uh, goodbye, mate.